Hello there, greetings from Zerzek's IT training and projects. So in this video, I'm going to explain the seventh program of uh, machine learning lab. The students who are falling under VTU uh, University, okay, under machine learning lab, we have one program called uh, uh, to predict the heart disease, okay, using Bayesian belief uh, network. So the, uh, the program goes like this, uh, write a program to construct a Bayesian network considering medical data, use this model to demonstrate the diagnosis of heart patient using standard heart disease data set. You can use Java, Python programming language, okay, ML library classes or API. Okay, so let's dive into the hands-on sessions, but before that one, I think it's very important from where you can get the data. Usually, I used to fetch the data or I used to download the data from Kaggle. Most of my machine learning programs, what I have designed, even the advanced version of this is also available my, in my YouTube channel where I have deployed the complete uh, the project related to hard disks using machine learning, Django, okay, and some concept of HTML. Okay, you can watch that video also uh, to know to get more information how we can work on the complete uh, machine learning product right from start to finish. So as far as the data is concerned, this is a standard data I'm going to use related to hard disease. So you go to Kaggle and uh, you can download directly from here hard disease UCI. So as far as if when you look into the data, it's just a 3 KB of the data. I think around 300 plus records are available. So features, when we talk about the features, we have the features like age, age of the patient or let's say the client also you can say. Okay. And uh, we have sex means okay male and female gender we have cp cp stands for chest pain type next we have trust bps trust bps is nothing but the resting blood pressure normally the resting blood pressure uh, will be uh, around uh, 120 by 80 okay and we calculate in terms of mm by HD, hg next we have cholesterol cholesterol serum cholesterol we generally calculate serum cholesterol using mg by uh, DL. If you check the range here of the cholesterol, it 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 will be in between uh, 80 to 120 mg by DL. In the same way, if you check the other features, okay, or X variable, I can say independent uh, variable, we have FBS. FBS stands for fasting blood pressure, uh, blood sugar. So empty, empty stomach. They generally try to calculate. It, they try to uh, have the fasting blood sugar in empty stomach. Next, we have ECG, resting electrocardiographic result. Okay, so to check the heart abnormalities. Okay, so next we have TALAJ. TALAJ stands for maximum heart rate achieved. So you can see somewhere here, hold on, I'll show you all the features. Uh, TALAJ also we have TALAJ, which is nothing but uh, maximum heart rate achieved. Next, we have exchange, exchange stands for uh, exercise induced aging okay so this is another feature i'm going to use we have old pick depression induced by exercise related to the rest so these are you can consider all these uh, the features are there right you can take and take it as an x value along with this one i have the target functions also the target function you can consider uh, as a binary set of uh, the data so directly you can download the your data set right from here and as far as this data is concerned you can have we have around 300 records which is classified in terms of 0 sign 1 okay so already i have downloaded okay and it is available in my folder called hard disk so you can check here hard.csv is my uh, data set now using this data set let's try to implement uh, the bayesian belief network to calculate the probabilities okay of the individual attribute so what i will do I'll design a network where through which you can calculate the the individual probability of the individual records of the attributes here. Suppose the, suppose you take the age, so you can have the probability of all the records. Let's say 63. What is the probability of the age 63? Okay, with respect to the age feature. Similarly, you can have the, all the probability of the individual record of the features here. Hope you are clear with this. Now let's dive into the hands-on session. So obviously we need I have already created one the file here called Jupyter using the Jupyter notebook. Okay, so first and foremost, we need to uh, uh, in we need to upload. Okay, so we need some certain libraries. Okay, so first libraries 
let me try to install my first library be uh, pandas obviously i'll start usually i start from pandas so for the data manipulation as td next we need numpy so i'll use numpy also import numpy as n key along with this one we need some more the libraries okay for the graphical presentations first and foremost uh, import i'll have matplotlib matplotlib dot py plot py plot as plt okay in the same way need i need seaborn also let's try to have seaborn also so import i'll try to import maximum uh, okay all the libraries which are required to run this program seaborn uh, seaborn as sns okay and last i need one more called scalar okay so let's try to upload scalar also import oops sorry for that okay i need to use the keyword called the import import scalar as scal let's try to execute this so it takes little time okay for the execution because the pandas when it comes to pandas it's a huge library a lot of features are available inside the the pandas okay so we'll give some time also that it will get uh, executed till then i'll pause the video and i'll get back to you once it is completed okay then now all my libraries what are the libraries which are required okay to run my sk base and belief network all the libraries are available now okay so now next it's time to uh, fetch the data since my data is in my folder called uh, hard disks so inside this one i have the data in the form of csv so i need to fetch this data so to fetch the data so i'm going to create one variable called hard under the hard i will call the alias called pd 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 is nothing but pd is referring here for the pandas there is an option called method called read csv so i'll use a method called read csv if it is in the excel format so you can use the method called read underscore excel underscore there is no restriction uh, you have you can you have to upload only csv format okay the data should be in the csv format you can use excel format also so the name of my csv format is hard.csv so i'm going to call the hard.csv file here okay so csv let's see whether i'm able to fetch my data or not let next shift and enter it so once after execution so you can see that it got executed that means there is no error here okay so if you want to check the display if you want to display the data so what you can do is you can use okay heart dot head heart dot head so the head method will try to display the five first to five records of the okay csv file in the same way you can use the complete you can run directly the variable called the heart it will try to display in the same heart also it try to display the five first record and the last five records of your csv file now you can check here okay so it displaying my five first five five records here head the same way if you want to display the last five records so you can call the variable called heart dot tail okay so you can use tail method so next shift and enter it it will get executed and it try to display the last the five records of your data set now you can see okay so that means when it comes to target function here have a look on this this is my target function which is nothing but my y data okay so target function okay it has distributed sequentially they have executed that means uh, uh, few are as per the records are concerned few are contains the one variable and few are contains the uh, zero variable here understood so data i hope you are cleared now how to fetch the data from the a csv file now let's try to see next the most important let's try to have explanatory data analysis okay so here we will we we are going to check the nature of the data first let's try to see the shapes okay shape method so generally the shape methods are used to check the number of the, the rows and the columns which are available nothing but the features okay the number of features which are available with respect to the record so if you want to check so you can call the method called variable heart heart is having my the actual data so next is okay run the method called shape okay shift and enter it it gives us okay it's the number of column which present as far as this data set is concerned so the total record what i have here is 303 303 records i have 
and the number of each i mean the columns which are available are 14 here that means if you check uh, the x value okay the independent value uh, there are 13 columns 13 independent features uh, columns are there and one you can consider as a target function understood so next is it's very important to know whether is there any missing data okay in this data set okay so you if you want to check whether is there any missing data in this data set you can use the method called heart heart dot is null there is a function called is null okay run is null then dot sum so it will try to calculate the total sum of uh, the empty records or the empty cells which are available in this uh, the record since i have downloaded directly from the kaggle so uh, i don't think so that the data contains some missing values so what i will do I'll, let me try to run well let's see whether is there any missing values or not in this so as far as this data is concerned it's very clean data so there are no missing values in this uh, data set okay so you can check here so there are no missing values so that means the data is clean now i can use this one to uh, run my base and believe uh, the network okay but before that one so what i will do since if you are familiar with the basin belief network so it works on a conditional independence suppose let's say you have three attribute okay and you want to calculate the probability p of a comma b comma c so you can calculate the probability using the formula p of a by b into p of b by c into p of c by a so that means you can directly calculate okay the probability of c to a okay so it's so uh, by but make sure that uh, okay so you, there should be a relationship between the one node to the another the node there okay so that is very important here so there are a lot of videos are available where they have clearly explained okay how exactly the base and belief networks are work my main intention is to execute that okay so by using some simple uh, data asset now what i will do i don't want all the features to use in my base and belief network so I'll try to use few of the other uh, features. Let's say, okay, I don't want to use CA, uh, CA I, I don't want, THL, THL also I don't want, old pick is also I don't want, and slope is also don't want. So that means I want to delete all these three columns. So to, that can be done using the method called del. Okay, so there is a drop also, drop NA. So you can use drop NA also. My variable name is heart. Okay, so under heart, I have a column called CA. So let me call that CA. Similarly, let's try to do it for all the other three columns. Okay, so three columns. Let me copy this and paste it over here. Similarly, I need it for two more. Okay, so two more CA, CA. So let me try to paste the next column. After CA, I have THL. So let's try to copy this THAL copy t h t a h a l similarly i have to do it for slope also okay so let me paste over here S paste it similarly take the slope also slope slope next after the slope we have another one called old pick so i don't want this also so i'll try i'm just i'm just shortening the network here understood if you want you can keep all those things also okay so you are going to get very lengthy uh, you can have a lengthy network and you can calculate the probability of all the records which are available in the data set so i'm going to delete all these columns okay shift and enter it it got deleted now if you want to check the status again of the csv file okay so if you want to check the C uh, status of the data you can run heart dot head okay heart dot head next is shift and enter it shift and enter it so now you can check so you have a look on this that means all those columns got deleted now okay so if you want you can keep you can it is an optional okay because i don't want to make the video very lengthy so it because we need to connect age with the sex access pp okay dress pol cholesterol etc so that's the reason i have deleted if you want you can keep those uh, network also so once the data is almost clean now now it's time to uh, import the library okay of the base and believe uh, network but before that one yeah base and believe network but before that one let me try to display the columns because we need these columns while building the network okay building the network so 
I can run or if you want to display the labels you can use columns hard dot columns so run it and you can see all the you can see all the columns name of the columns which are displayed here now in the same way if you want to check the data types what data types all this data contains okay so that is very important okay again it is uh, maybe you can see here like it is an integer type maybe the machine has stored that uh, okay the values in some other format if it is in the other format we need to bring bring that one in the numerical format so if you want to check the uh, the format of the data so you can use a method called info heart dot info heart, heart is nothing but my variable okay info is nothing but it gives me the type of uh, the format of the data which is stored in the data set here so have a look on this okay so all the data is in the integer format since my system is 64 bit it's showing int 64 bit so far so good so we don't have any problem now it's time to upload basin model okay basin belief model okay so basin belief model is available in the package called pgm py okay so we need to install pgm py first so to install pgm py what you can do is okay hyphen let's run pip pip install pip install pip install pgm py okay and run it shift and enter it uh, this will take little time okay so let me pause the video and get back to you once the installation is completed yes now you can see that my installation is successfully completed okay it's, it's showing like already requirements is already satisfied so now my package pgm py is available here now that pa package basin belief network the algorithm available inside the pgm py the package now let's try to import that one we need to import the basin model now to import the base basin model you can use from okay pgm py pgm py uh, dot models so you might have uh, experienced this one if you take the basin navi basin classifier navi basin classifier available in scalar scalar dot model in, in the same way the basin model is available inside pg mpy dot model okay so import uh, so i'm going to import my basin model base model base next to basin okay it's b it should be basin model basin model fine next in the same way we need maximum likelihood so what i will do i'll try to use maximum likelihood estimator to calculate the probability and we need to have the pair of the uh, the attributes here let's say age you want i want to connect with the sex so we need to have the pair that can be done using basin estimator okay so again use another library from okay pgm pgm py dot uh, estimator okay call estimator estimators estimators next import uh, maximum likelihood maximum 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 likelihood likely ka l should be capital here okay likely would likely would uh, estimator estimator ka e should be capital here remember estimator next is likelihood estimator comma bayesian estimator so we need bayesian 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 estimator okay so bayesian estimator so we need this to the packages here okay now next is shift and enter it it will get executed now it's that means maximum likelihood to calculate the probability bayesian estimator to have the pair of the values now let's see whether this will execute or not this will take time let me pause the video okay okay then so now now my all the pgm p okay pgm py model now i have imported bayesian model the next maximum likelihood estimator as well as the bayesian estimator here uh, here so while typing i committed here so i said models model it should be models okay so it should end with the uh, it should end with yes okay again it's time to build the network okay so have the network using bayesian concept so what i will do again i'll try to display okay all the labels which are available okay as in my data set 
so again i will run hard dot columns so i need all the labels so that i can build the network here okay so to build the network uh, next i will call one variable called model i'll call my function called bayesian model bayesian bayesian model so inside the model we need to build the network here so to build the network i'll try to take the array concept inside the array okay i'll try to have the pair first let's say i want to have the association with a joint it should be okay it should be it should be a pair okay so i'll have the pair pair of uh, first i need i will have the connection between a joint uh, bps okay bps press bps press trust okay trst trust bps okay so you can practice this in handbook if you are not understanding because i'm going to have the association the age is one node the another trust bps is another node you build design two nodes and try to connect that one same way i need to have another we need to connect with all the other rest of the features here okay so next in the same way i'll try to take age again i'll try to connect age with the fbs okay fbs next is we need to connect with other now let's try to connect uh, uh, now sex with the trust bps okay sex is an another attribute here okay sorry the feature trust bps trust bps trust bps similarly we need to connect with other also okay as far as the other one is concerned let me take try to take this one in the other next next line next is after trust bps next exchange we have ex uh, yeah exchange we have uh, so let's try to take e x a n g exchange exchange next is trust bps okay trust bps t r e s t b p s t r s t e b p s next in the same way we need okay trust bps next we need to calculate okay so we need to end the network so to end the network so try to connect that one with the uh, the target function so my target function is trust bps trust bps next uh, here my name of the uh, the uh, independent uh, dependent variable is the target here so i'm going to have the node okay i'm going to call the target now target similarly okay again i need to can connect with the other uh, the features also now i have connected with the the target now again in the same way fbs also i need to connect with the targets okay target call target here also you call target 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 same way uh, again okay so it's not end again we need to connect other pairs also target with the rest ecg so let's try to have rest ecg now uh, let's say target target with the rest ecg okay rest ecg rest let me check the spelling rest ecg rest ecg yeah correct rest ecg same way okay next to my peer will be would be uh, after rest ecg collage so i need to calculate okay so i need to uh, have the pair target with the tal talach okay so talach talach is nothing but what the maximum heart rate achieved okay talach next is so after that okay one cholesterol is remaining so i'll have, try to have cholesterol also okay so cholesterol say cholesterol ch okay target call target so after target next call cholesterol c h o l c h o l it's done now okay almost my model let's see whether the model will uh, accept or it will try to create the network using the bayesian uh, belief system or not it's showing warning no problem so that means okay fine okay uh, it's working fine uh, tuple object not uh, callable perhaps you missed and comma so where it is it's showing like error let me check again hold on let me check and get back to you 
okay so we'll try to run this one so that means all the nodes are now connected okay so next is shift and run it that means it got executed now okay so there are no errors so far so good so that means my model is ready and i have stored the model inside the uh, variable called model here now it's time to fit my the data set data with respect to the model okay to fit that one so what i will do i'll try to call my model let's say uh, model let's try to fit the model now. model dot okay model dot fit model dot fit next uh, call the data set so my data is i have stored the data in heart okay the heart variable now call the now we need to calculate the uh, probability now to calculate the probability so i will use estimator method in in estimator i'll try to call my maximum likelihood uh, estimator okay so let me copy this let me copy this maximum likelihood estimator so i don't want to commit any mistake here while typing so just try to copy this and paste it over here estimator and let's see okay my uh, the model fits with my data or not so shift and enter it shift and enter it let's see whether this will execute or not yes it got executed that means my model is that means my data uh, suits okay fit with my the model okay so now next is if we want to display the output of the individual records okay so records of the attributes okay so you can use cpd technique okay so i'll use the cpd technique cp cpds cpds technique in cpds te technique what happens uh, it will display the probability of individual records of the features using tabular for okay tabular tabular techniques okay so let's say age you want to uh, display the probability of the age okay of the individual records let's say age is 63 what is the probability that can be done using cpd technique so i'll use the method called print i'm going to display this one so i will use print okay so under print call your model okay model dot there is a method called get to cp cpds cpds so call use cpds next let's try to have the first feature so my first feature if you have seen here so let's say i have the first feature let's say age now i want to calculate the pro individual probability of the feature let's say start with the age now so given since it is a string okay given age okay so now next let's try to run and let's see what answer we are going to get here print model dot get cpd so have a look on this so as far as age is concerned i have the records out of 307 uh, so the minimum age is here 29 and this is the probability okay and we have calculated this in using this maximum likelihood estimator similarly if you go to the last one we i think the maximum age is here 77 so it is showing like 0 0.0033 is the the probability in the same way we can calculate okay the probability of all the features uh, of this data set okay so right now i have calculated for age similarly we can do it for sex also okay sex features so let me run this one since sex is having only 0 and 0 and 1 so you are going to have the probability as a 0 and 1 so for the 0 0 0.3168 and for the 1 it is 0 0.6831 if you take the sum of this one it will be equal to 1 okay in the same way let's try to have for cp okay so cp call cp cp uh, let me run this one shift and enter it it got okay there is something some something mistake here there is something wrong okay cp that means because of maybe because of uh, the the data okay so it should it is in the integer format we need to convert that one into the uh, uh, floating point format let's try to have for fbs fbs let me try to shift and enter it that means light modifications are required here. have a look on the cps okay so it has displayed uh, uh, very beautifully uh, in the tabular format okay all the probabilities of uh, my data hope you are cleared with this so you can explore this one since okay some modifications are required in this program the students who uh, students uh, can modify this and uh, if any doubt related to this program you can 
drop the comments so i will immediately try to reply thank you thank you for watching and please try to uh, subscribe my channel i'll try to come up with the new idea, new technologies i'll try to explain uh, the machine learning concepts even we started uh, ex uh, the executing the project machine learning project using julia programming the language thank you thank you very much